You know, my dad, my dad was, uh, my dad was always working and he would take me places. He would um, take me to the shop, you know, and you know, he's, he's over here working under the hood and dealing with all kinds of different things. And um, I'd be in the back somewhere, like in the tires, you know, messing with equipment. But then I don't know what happened in, in life to where we stopped doing that. You know, we, we stopped being close. Soon after that, I got plugged into baseball, stayed active, you know, and then all of a sudden my dad starts showing up and starts, you know, playing a part of that. I saw my dad in a completely different way. It got to the point where I didn't just want that on the field, like I wanted that everywhere. You know, my dad, my dad was a heavy drinker, and so on the off times when, you know, we're not at practice, he was usually in his garage you know, drinking and listening to music. And I got courageous and I just told him, I was like, look, I want what you give me all the time. Like I want, I just want you to say I love you. You know, and my dad looked at me and with this crazy expression, you know, he told me, I will never tell you that. You know, and so I remember I grabbed my baseball bag and, and I just threw clothes in it, you know, and I left. I got involved with drugs, you know, I got involved with alcohol, started running with a crowd that was a little bit of gangs, a little bit of street. I found out that my girlfriend is pregnant, you know, and, and man, that was like, what the heck am I gonna do? Like, and so finally, you know, the day comes where my daughter is born. Like life changed. Like I saw this little thing who, who needed me and who, who has depended on me. And I remember she didn't open her eyes, but I just felt her so delicate. You know, I gotta get right, like, you know, and I started coming to, to the rock and, you know, and I remember sitting in the altar call. Man, I just, I felt it and I heard it in a whole different way. Accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I did the do, I walked through the altar, I went to the altar care room. I told myself, this is what I want as I got older. So I'm doing that today. I, I love my family. Um, you know, I'm a pastor at a church and this church and this, it's awesome. Like I get a chance to speak into the lives of kids. I tell my daughter all the time, man, you're the reason. You know, you're the reason why I am who I am. You were what I needed from God to situate life. I have heard my dad say, I love you. I have heard him, even in his weird, uncomfortable way, you know, show me that he loves me. And I'm, I'm such a believer that, you know, that God will restore all things, you know, and he'll, he'll bring back all things that you need within you that will complete you. You know, I'm growing, I'm developing, and I'm, I'm shaping into the man that I know God wants me to be.